Okay, I'm gonna trim some spirea here. Um, spirea can take a pretty good shearing, and when you cut them back this time of year, you can get another set of smaller blooms. So don't be afraid. A lot of times what I do is, since they're gangly, is I'll go in and I'll trim the outside, and then I'll do the top. It's kind of backwards from the U's that I trim. So here we go. something out here the reason you do the outside is because of this they grow down to the ground okay so if you're cutting the top and all that comes down you're not going to see that as well and it'll actually hold it down so when you do the cleanup you actually got to do more touch up so that's why we do it this way so now I can go in and shape the sides and the top So you want to roll this over and what I like to do is come and look at it from this side And just Tuck it like that all the way around and then you want to get these hairs underneath And tuck those in so and Just so you know you're gonna get a lot of stuff on top you want to get that out of there. I usually use my hand. Okay, now it made it all pop up again. That's where these come back in. My Okatsunes. You can get them on Amazon, places like AM Leonard, um, all your supply stores for lawn and landscape should carry something like this. I know Steel has a product a shear that looks a lot like them. I haven't used them, haven't tried them. I'm sure they're fine, but I, I prefer to get the original Tokusun. They're made with uh, the same kind of technique as samurai swords out of Japanese steel. 
were used in samurai swords. And, hey, they've been making them for thousands of years, so why not? So, anyway, this is how we do one.